Chicken, 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 chicken. So many chickens. I'm always finding chickens. Yeah, what did I just say about the chickens? Really, Nox? Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Hey, hi, yeah, no, I know, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've been on Moon Cross. I never meant for it to take this long for me to make the next video. I just kind of, you know, like life, and, um, oh, I started playing Disney Dreamlight Valley, and I tried to make a video for that, and, and I recorded a ton of footage, and that was just kind of in a stuck point right now, and I don't even know if anything's gonna happen with that. So, you know, whatever. And then I did the Go Go Town one, which was super fun, but it took some time. So anyway, I really wanted to get back to this island. I really want to get back to Animal Crossing. I have some other exciting ideas for once I finish this island. So anyway, you know, I just want to, I just want to get back to this. So here we are. We are back on our no longer hard mode Moonfrost. Um, we are uh, watching this beautiful aurora right now. Isn't that beautiful? I love it with all the snow. And um, yeah, so first I'm going to catch you up on kind of what's been going on. I have actually been doing a lot of background prep work, getting ready to just start super designing the island. Um, there was a bunch of stuff that had to get done first, so I have been working on that. So I am actually going to hand it over to uh, VoiceOver Me and do a little recap of all the stuff I've been doing to get us up to where we are now. So uh, take it away, VoiceOver Me. Okay, so before I even got out of my wetsuit from the last video, I went and planted a 10,000 bell bag in my money spot because I could. Then I had a meeting with the villagers and I let them know hard mode is over, hard mode is over. Everyone was happy except for Lyman because I think he really liked being the only villager getting gifts, so I think he was bummed out. But everyone else was super supportive, so that was cool. Then I went to Abel's and I got a non-custom design outfit. I went to the Nooklings and I sold them whatever I wanted out of my pockets. It was pretty cool. And finally, I got to go tell Poppy that she couldn't move because I did not have her photo yet. Speaking of photos, I also started working very, very hard at getting all the photos that I wanted, Lyman's and the other five. And I also started farming Celeste for the space DIYs. Oh, and I went to Harv's to unlock Cyrus and Rhesus plot because I'm going to need them for customizing stuff for the island. Oh, yeah. And I got a new hairdo because I was over there. And you know what? The one I got is super cute and I think perfect for this island. Anyway, back to farming Celeste and also getting more photos. But uh, the way I did this is I ping-ponged between February 8th and February 9th. February 9th was a heavy star shower, and I just went back and forth between those two days and kept getting photo, uh, gifting and getting photos and getting a new DIY. Because if you go back a day and then go back to the star shower day, you will get a new DIY from Celeste. Klaus's house is so weird, and his music is so weird. He's just, yeah. He's just Klaus. But I got so many good ones. Well, not the mom's one, but yeah, Star Sky Wall, that'll be great for the houses. Bianca was visiting Lyman. Poor Bianca. These are good ones. These are really good space ones. Well, Matilda was the last photo that I needed. Yay! Oh, and then I was hoping for drama, right? Remember these two on the beach in the last video? But no, no, no drama this time. <sighs> Luckily, Poppy and Simon were super cute with their zoomies, so that made up for it. Oh, also, while I was doing all of the um, farming for photos and Celestia wise, I got a bunch of reactions. I don't really need reactions, I guess, for this island, but I love reactions, so yeah, I was really happy with it. Then I flew over to HHP because I need to be able to customize villager homes on my island. I'm not going to bore you with all of the um, speed run that I did for this because I just, you know, basically threw the items in the house and left. And I did all 30 houses so I could unlock all of the things. So, yeah, HHP. That took a while. 
After all that, Simon has to leave. And honestly, I wasn't really looking to do villager hunting yet. I was like, oh, uh, yeah, but you know what? I want him on one of my forever islands. And so I figured this is actually a really good time to just get him in boxes and get him moved over. So I did say yes. And I got him in boxes. He's so cute. I just do really love him. And then, I mean, you know, I flew in from my other island. So, there were two of me on the same island. What? I know, that was just super silly. Anyway, I moved him over, and he has gone for move for us now. Then it was time for a villager hunt. Once I got into it, it was pretty fun. Vesta. Candy corn sheep, not right for the island. Also, Alfonso, not right for the island. Mitzi? I mean, I thought about her for a minute. I mean, she does kind of look like an alien, doesn't she? But she also does really look like a cat. So I was like, well, I don't know. So I left her. Kit? Yeah, not a fit. Hippo? Definitely not a fit. Avery? He's a very cool eagle, but yeah, not right for the island. Marcy's definitely not right for an island. Way too pink. Then I was like, another pink. Oh, wait a second. It's Judy. Judy was a dreamy for this island. I can't believe it. I mean, I think this was eight, seven or eight tickets, right? It was really, really quick. I couldn't believe I found her. Yeah, I was super excited. I remember back in 2020 when she was just like a hot commodity and like everybody wanted her. It was really hard to get her in like groups and stuff. So I got a little overexcited. I mean, I'll, I'll admit it. I did. She's just so pretty. I mean, come on. And she's perfect for a space island. So, she moved in. And all was good. Then Poppy has to leave. And I mean, she is adorable. I love her. But, you know, once I had her photo, she's not right for the final island. I did let her go. But it broke my heart too, Poppy. And the next day when I went to say goodbye, the sky was crying. We were all sad. She really is so cute. I'll have her again on another island. But you know what happened? I don't know. I think I was a little burned out with video making at that time. So I mostly just took photos. I don't know what I was thinking. I did make this video of Mitzi because once again I was like, should I take her? But I decided not to. And then it's just like photos. Of course, I think there were like 41 or 47. I can't even remember. There were a lot, a lot of islands. It took a really long time. So yeah. I mean, there were some cuties, but there were just a lot of just no's. No, no. Sprocket? No. Teddy. I love Teddy. Chops? Absolutely not. Ketchup? Adorable. Hopkins is super cute. I think I actually thought about him for a second. He would fit the color of this island. Blue space. Um, Tipper's kind of cute. I'm not a big cow person. Um, Gladys is very pretty. I like Stella. I've never had Stella. Olaf. Ugh. Ketchup again. Tank is, you know, whatever. Chester? Kind of on the fence about Chester. Fang? I love Fang. Chrissy, Roswell, Bones, and then one of the dreamies. I know, Zoe is like not actually like a fave in any way in general, but she's perfect for this island. I mean, I think she really looks like an alien and her coloring is perfect, so. Zoe moved on to the island. And then Klaus has to leave, which I was very excited about because Klaus, yeah, you can go. Bye bye. And we got Sprocket on the first island. I mean, Sprocket. I know he's a robot, but he's just not the right robot for this island. 
curly. No. Not right. He's not even one of my favorite pigs. Oh, Mallory is so cute. I'll have to have her on an island someday. Yeah, she's very, very pretty. I like her, but she's just definitely not a fit for this one. Um, I got stuck on a tree. Where's the villager? Where's the villager? Oh, Flurry! I did actually think about Flurry for a minute with her little blue eyebrows. I was like, hmm, she would fit, kind of. But I don't think she really looked alien enough. I don't know. Maybe that was a mistake. Sky. Oh my god, I love Sky. I love Sky so much. I actually have her at one of my Forever Islands. She and Molly are a power couple. I've had them since 2020. I've moved them from island to island. Love, love, love. Um, she does really look like a wolf, though, so I didn't think she was the right fit for this island, and since I already I already have her, you know, it was fine. I love her so much. Pink is kind of a meh. He's not awful, but just not really, you know, yeah. I, like, forgot this one's name. Queenie. Okay, yeah. I don't know. She just never stands out for me. I guess I don't like her eyes. Oh, you know, I think pretty much all the dogs are cute. Except maybe Marcel. Marcel, maybe not Marcel, but all the other dogs are super cute. But, I mean, definitely not a fit, but cute. Very cute. Where's a villager? Oh, Spike. I have a friend who super loves Spike, so I can't say anything mean about Spike. But he's definitely not a good fit for this island. Money Rock Island. And Vivian! She's very, very pretty. I really like her, but she's definitely not a fit for this island, so, you know. I had to leave her. Where is that? Molly! Molly, 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 Molly. I can't remember if I told the story already that she was uh, an autofill on my very first island. Autofill to my first normal plot. Still have my original Molly. Love her so much. Shari, not so much. Not one of my favorite monkeys. Simon is my favorite monkey. I think I like Deli, too. Alright, this this cat, Tom, he kind of looks like an alien. A little bit. But also too much like a cat. I don't know. The cats kind of look like aliens and kind of look too much like cats. Freckles actually does look like an alien. But she's just too pink. She's not right for a blue island. And Tutu! You know I like Tutu. She's cute. She's a polar bear, which is great for Frosty, but she just doesn't give space vibes, in my opinion. So, I had to leave her. Tybalt. Tiger. Yeah. Just still not really into the tigers. I do, I do actually really like Bianca, though. I mean, she's a snow leopard, but, you know. <sighs> chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. So many chickens. I'm always finding chickens. Yeah, what did I just say about the chickens? Really, Nox? He's probably my least favorite chicken. Well, I don't like Ken either. But Nox, come on. Money Rock Island! And Sid! I love Sid so much. Sid is on one of my Forever Islands, and actually, he is in a power couple with Judy, my original Judy. They are awesome. They've been in love on, like, every island I've moved them to. I mean, seriously. Stinker. I mean, he's cute. I don't dislike him. Not right for the island, though. And then, yeah, for a second, I was like, is that, like, Gigi, or, you know, like the purple frog. I don't know, from far away it almost looked like one of the purple frogs. I know there's two, but then I was like, oh, it's Ribbit! Yes! He is one of the robots that I've been looking for. So, of course, I invited him. You know what? I thought he was going to be harder to find. I think I, you know, read somewhere he was kind of rare. I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, but, you know, we found him. I think that was like 21 tickets, maybe? I think he was 21st Island. So, anyway. So then, after that, I moved all the buildings over to this one side of the island because I kind of wanted to get them out of the way for, like, working on the design. Hey, Judy. Um, yeah, so I moved them all over. Can look at the map. They're just in a blob over here. And then I had started to, like, get rid of some of the river bits. Honestly... When I'm doing an island like this that I'm going to try and finish really, really fast. 
I say it like I like try to finish islands all the time, which I'm not good at. But anyway, I need to flatten it. I need the whole island flattened. Sorry, Zoe. I know I took away your little fishing hole. Anyway, um, yeah, I need to flatten it. That really helps me kind of start over. And oh yeah, I forgot. I got a reaction. Happiness. I was kind of happy. Anyway, so yeah, I got rid of cliffs and um, all of the little river bits, and I just wanted to get the whole thing flattened. So this actually took a while, obviously. This is, you know, I'm showing it to you on fast speed, but on slow speed, it really takes a while. I do love, though, that you can, um, you know, get the waterfalls like that. That was pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, flatten in the island, getting it ready for design. And I don't know, probably this is the way most people do it, right? Like you, I always make these strips so that you don't have to like do the double hitting because you like, you know, uh, make the corner rounded and then you have to hit it again. I don't know. Anyway, of course, Judy got in the way. She's trying to find a, the only scenic area left. And you can see there's like one tiny little water bit right there above resident services. And it was Judy. So I, of course, I had to move her. Come on, Judy. We got the last strips of the uh, sec last bit of second tier done. <sighs> Just watching this is making me tired. But you can see there, I had almost everything done, and then I started doing all of those. And then finally, I was down to the very last one, and Wisp shows up and, you know, gets in the way, of course, as Wisp does. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to throw it back to present me. Okay, and now we're back. So, yeah, that's where we have, that's all the stuff that I've been doing. Yeah, villager hunts and, 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 oh my gosh, breaking down all that cliff stuff. Yeah, that was not fun. Anyway, um, so, okay, let's, uh, let me get out of camera there we go <laughs> get out of the camera mode and so yeah we're, we're here still with the clump oh you can see that I am um, I, I brought us back into winter because you know hi Pappy uh, poor poor animals they they just the villagers they just they don't have any like nice water stuff to look at I'm so sorry anyway all right so yeah so everything's over here so he's just examining the weeds because that's like the only interesting thing going on oh my gosh that's just awful anyway so yeah let's take a look here we've got this vast expanse here there's a snow boy ball a snow boy ball yeah mm, that didn't sound very good did it anyway um so yeah here's the vast expanse that i cleared for ages and ages and ages uh -huh. yeah oh a balloon all right, anyway, so this was all cleared. And then I have actually done a little bit of work on the entrance, and I was gonna show that to you. I'm, I'm lost, where am I? Oh, 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 there's, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Let's see, is that just out in the middle of nowhere? No, no, it's right by my house. Oh, look, I, I think you probably saw that in, in one of the recaps, but I, I redid my house to make it kind of match the surreal vibe I'm gonna have here. Anyway, um, okay, here is resident services. Okay, he's here. I forgot that he would be here in Francine. Yes, okay. So I started working on the entrance. Um, this is by no means done in any way. It's just I'm beginning to try and get a vibe of what I wanna do. Um, I think I mentioned before, I'm trying to go for this like surreal planet vibe kind of thing and all the villagers kind of want them to look a little bit like aliens and i mean it's weird right because how can you have resident services in an airport on a surreal planet they don't really fit in but i don't know we just have to work with it right because like everyone knows we're still like in the animal crossing universe so it's gotta have some stuff but anyway so i've only done a tiny tiny bit i was gonna oh no so, sorry, KK. I, I'm not trying to be rude, but I was definitely not trying to watch your concert right now. I don't have time to watch your concert. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to have um, a lot of blue mushroom platforms and I'm going to take you down to the entrance, which is the only part I've done. You can probably see on the map, there's like two little blobs down there of some stuff I started to build. Um, and I'm going to show you what I did. So um, here's the funny thing. I, I got this glowing moss and I was gonna plant it around, and I was like, you know, it's not really gonna fit the like blue and white theme because it's green. And I forgot in the winter, it's like almost this like blue gray color. 
so it's perfect but when you run on it it's still like makes all these little you know sparkly things and then i was like you know what this would be perfect for because i spent quite a while looking at custom designs and i couldn't find a path i liked and then i was like what if i made the glow moss the path right yeah yeah see because like you're running on it it's almost like like stones and they and they sparkle and isn't that kind of like a weird planet thing so anyway that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make this into the path so so this is what i have um i really wish i had a blue airport but you know that's what i got um so this is it this is the entrance i started to build yeah my i have these white hyacinths they haven't grown in yet and there's white cosmos that haven't grown in yet because i just planted them but this is just the, the kind of beginning feel of it there's going to be obviously a lot of mush glowing not glowing yeah yeah glowing mush off the, the lamps and there's gonna be lots of stars little star clocks and nova stars and a lot of the glowing moss stuff um I've started burying little stones because I like these little craters. I think they look cool too. And then, then the path. And like when you run on the path, like, isn't that fun? I just, I just love that. And I mean, I don't, I'm not saying it's an original idea. Probably someone else has done it, but I haven't, uh, I haven't seen it myself before, but I just thought it was really cool. So uh, that's what I'm doing. So I have some ideas for how I'm going to do um, the villager neighborhood and I will share that when I do a villager neighborhood build video, hopefully. Um, here's, here's the big thing. So here's what's going on. Um, let's talk. Okay. So I know that I take a really long time to make videos and I want to get better at that because I really like making videos and I'm actually having fun trying to grow this channel a little more. You know, I started out just doing it for fun, um, but I wouldn't mind, you know, making this channel a little bit bigger. That would be cool. Getting more subscribers and just uh, like just having more fun and getting to do more stuff and, and being more a part of the community and all that stuff because it's just cool, like meeting other other gamers and stuff with um, with uh, working on things. So anyway. I have plans. I have a really fun video series that I want to get to work on once I'm done with Moonfrost. And it's super ambitious and I don't even know if I can do it because it really would require me to start making videos way faster and making a lot more videos, like several a week. And um, I'm not sure if I can do it, but I'm trying to figure out how I could do it. So anyway, um, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to try and finish Moonfrost by the end of May. And I'm going to try and put out more videos more quickly and um, really, yeah, it's kind of going to be the test to see if I can do it. If I can get more videos out more quickly, then maybe I can work on this big, you know, um, idea that I have. And I am not going to share that idea yet because, um, you know, we'll get there when we get there. But anyway, so that's it. Yeah. This is where we are with Moonfrost right now. I'm pretty excited. I I like where this is going. I mean, I literally like it wasn't until I put down the glow moss, the glowing moss, that I felt like it started coming together. And I was like, wait, okay, yeah, I can see, I can see where this is going. So I am excited about that. And yeah, hang on a second. I mean, you saw the villager hunts, but let's look at this for a second. We have Francine, we have Zoe, and we have Judy, and we've Ribbit, Ribot. <laughs> so we have four, four of the dreamies, and I do have some other villagers in mind. I don't have my list out on me right now. I know that I want Ioni, obviously, um, and I want um, Cephalobot. Is that how you say it? He's the other. He's the only other robot I want because Sprocket. I don't, I don't, Sprocket, his coloring, his green is just not right for the island. And also I don't really like him. And then Dell, I mean, purple alligator, he's just not right. So I just want the two silver robots, Robot and Cephalobot. And so Ioni, Cephalobot, um, I want Chabwick, the cute space penguin. I think he would be perfect. So let's see, that's three, that's, that's seven. There's three more. Who are the other ones? I really can't remember. But one thing I do want to do is more villager hunts. There's a possibility if I can get things working better, there is a possibility I might try and start doing some streams. Um, I am a little limited with the time I can stream and the length of streams. I can't stream for very long and um, yeah, so I have really been wanting to stream and I did stream like 
a couple times last year, uh, just out of the blue. Um, so I've done it before, but I really, you know, I mean, I literally had like two people show up. Um, I, you know, don't know really what I'm doing. So I want to do it. I, fingers crossed I can maybe do a stream or two for Moonfrost, maybe some villager hunts, maybe some, you know, island building. We'll see. Um, but I do want to finish it by the end of May. Yeah, I was kind of throwing around in my head. Moonfrost May. Yeah, let's do it. Let's finish Moonfrost. Let's finish Moonfrost by the end of May. And and then um, then I can start talking about my next big project, which I'm super excited about. So uh, that's it. That's where we are with my yellow airport. I really do wish it were blue, but that's okay. It looks nice with the Aurora right now. So at least that works. Anyway, so, so that's it. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to leave us here and start working on the next video and potential streams. And um, yeah, I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.